just be, be out, out with, with us. us to the Maldives. It is a dream destination for many and it is known for weddings and romantic getaways. If it is not on your bucket list as yet, be sure to watch our Maldives series. We spent the entire month there and we covered the Maldives from A to Z pretty much. Well, not exactly married in the Maldives, but we will explain fully in this video. If you're new to our channel, my name is Irina. And I'm Devon. And we are Just, Just Be, Be Out. Out. We create informative travel videos to help you get the most out of your vacation. Just, Just Be, Be Out, Out with us. us. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, you didn't get married in the Maldives? I thought this is what this video was about. Well, here's the explanation. We were on a two weeks Southern Caribbean cruise and shortly after that is when we decided to get married in the Maldives. Well, we had everything pre-booked at Lux South Ari Atoll. Upon finishing our two weeks cruise in the Southern Caribbean, we flew into New York just to get our clothes together to then fly out to the Maldives. We had three days in New York to do this. Now. Upon arriving to New York, Irina did just a little bit more research on what we have already figured out and she found out that technically you cannot get married in the Maldives legally Legally, if you are not Muslim. You heard that right. You cannot get married in the Maldives if you are not Muslim. So how do people do it then? Uh, you see all over social media that people Beautiful have weddings. gorgeous weddings. If you haven't seen our wedding recap, we will leave it in the description below. Okay. So what we did is... Well, we had to extend our stay in New York longer than we anticipated because now we had to get all our papers together to get married in New York legally yes we had to go through the city court and all the legal uh, procedures of getting married in new york and in the maldives we had our ceremony for two right so now whenever you see weddings in the maldives it's technically just a ceremony because they could not get married there not unless they're muslim of course so now that we got that explanation a little bit out of the way, let's dive a little bit deeper into the procedures of having your ceremony in the Maldives. Maldives is made out of 1200 islands, not all of them inhabited of course but the islands are separated between being the local islands and the island resorts private island resorts and you can arrange your wedding ceremony either on a local island or on a private island resort and we will share with you our wedding ceremony experience on a private island resort Lux South Ari Atoll most private island resorts do offer wedding packages, but not all of them list their wedding services on their websites. Which is kind of odd to us because if weddings are such a big thing, why would you be looking at a certain resort, going to their website, not seeing a wedding tab where you could see the type of services and packages they offer. So we did find that to be weird. Now upon doing our research, Irina had reached out to a couple of resorts which we really love the resort, we love the way it looked and everything else, but they didn't have a wedding tab, so we weren't sure whether they offered wedding options. She reached out to them via email and then... Turns out they do and they did send me a list of packages that they do offer. When planning your wedding ceremony in the Maldives, first and foremost, Pick an island that you like because when you decide to do a wedding ceremony, you do have to stay on that island because all the islands are spread out. And of course, your budget plays a lot in this as well. So you may find a beautiful island, but it might just be out of your budget because as we know, the Maldives can be super expensive and super luxurious, but there are a wide range of options for you to choose from within your budget. We chose Lux South Ari Atoll for many reasons and we have created Lux pros and cons and we will leave the entire 
Lux South Ari Atoll series in the playlist. We covered our full experience on the island resort, the walking tour of the entire island, the room tour, the pros and cons, and of course our wedding reel and this video. So once you've done your initial research on finding the most beautiful island for you to have this amazing experience on, then you'd want to reach out to them and find out what are their different wedding packages. And surprisingly, I found the wedding packages pretty affordable. We did a wedding for two and most packages actually do have a wedding ceremony for two. But if you would like to bring your friends and family, you would just have to pay per person for dinner options for them. But it's still quite affordable. So the wedding packages depending on the island they have different wedding packages and some start from even 700 dollars us and the most expensive that we found while doing the research was only 4500 us dollars plus plus and now what is plus plus you might be wondering well in the maldives the plus plus is basically plus tax and plus service fees so there are two additional charges on the overall cost and of course you will find all the price ranges in between it really depends on the setup that you would like to have it depends whether you need makeup whether you would like cake if you would like a romantic private dinner with a private chef and all those little romantic uh, little things that you can actually get to make your wedding ceremony or wedding day ceremony even more special and of course when planning a wedding you want to be ahead of the game so you want to do a lot of pre-planning and when uh, trying to get married or having your ceremony in the Maldives there are so many little touches that you can get you might think oh you know I want it on the beach some people want it on a sandbank sandbank ceremonies are absolutely beautiful you're in the middle of the Indian Ocean crystal clear turquoise water and you're the only one out there and it looks amazing but some of these sandbanks you must know it's all based on tide. If the tide is high, it wouldn't be possible. And based on the resort that you choose, some of them, even with high tide, you're only up to your ankle in water, which is sometimes fine, but others get a little bit higher. So make sure you contact the resort. And if they do have a sandbank ceremony because then not all the resorts actually offer, offer a sandbank ceremony absolutely and make sure that they that that they can tell you whether or not yes we never really have an issue with high tide our sandbanks are pretty high up so you won't have that issue so that's something to consider as well and another thing you might want to think about is the wind obviously the Maldives is very flat you're in the middle of the in Indian Ocean so there's no mountains to block the winds or any type of building structures so it might be much more windy than you anticipate. So just keep in mind of some of the challenges you might be facing when trying to do that special event on a sandbank. One of the reasons we actually booked Lux is because of the option for a ceremony on a sandbank. And that is what we originally really wanted to do. But when we did come to Lux, we found out that it might not be possible because of the tide and the wind. And when we did go to the sand bank ourselves, we realized it very well. It was so super windy there. Yes. And the beautiful thing about Lux though, is that you get the best of both worlds. If you would want a sand bank ceremony and the conditions are prime, it will work out perfect for you. If not, the fallback contingency is that they have their ceremonies on the very tip of the west end of the island and it's set up beautifully. So that was our fallback plan. When we spoke to our wedding coordinator, which we will get into in a little bit, we said the first priority would be the sandbank. If it works out, beautiful. We had to actually wait the morning of our ceremony day for them to figure out well is the tide high enough or is it going to be you know not as windy for it to work then we found out the tide was going to be too high so in the morning early afternoon they started setting up on the west end of the island which is where most of their ceremonies take place and another thing to consider while choosing your resort for the island 
Uh, when you're talking to your uh, wedding or special event coordinator, you can uh, request photos or videos of where your ceremony will be held. And the beautiful thing about Lux, even if your wedding ceremony is held on the main island, which Devon mentioned, the West End, it is still very private and secluded. So if you would like to have just a beautiful ceremony between two of you it is absolutely possible there even though it is part of the main island and on the west end there are some villas going out into the ocean we saw a few people passing by but they were ways away so we did not feel that anybody intruding on your wedding opposed to a local island and we saw a ceremony when we went to Mafushi and there was a, a little gazebo set up right on the beach. It was really beautiful, but it <laughs> Everyone was, was there. a public <laughs> beach. So let's, let's just put it this way. There were about 300 wedding crashers there. Yes. <laughs> Everyone's in bathing suits and they're gathering around and they're taking uh, photos. But, again, but then again, if that's what you want, that's fine. But we're just trying to show you the differences between the two as a private island as opposed to a local island. And on that um, local island ceremony, wedding ceremony, not only there were uh, random hundreds of random people at your uh, wedding ceremony, but they were so up and close right into your business i was getting an anxiety by just looking at that ceremony from a distance and of course you can't control these people because they all converge they see you walking down the aisle so everyone gets excited and they want to take video of it and everyone just converges on your space so yes that was a little strange actually seeing and the funny thing about that too is their wedding cake they shared it with everybody on the beach at one point i saw people walking away with plates of cake and i'm like is it possible that they're also in the wedding, like that's their guest? But no, because they were in regular bathing suit. They weren't even really dressed for the occasion. So then I asked one of the person who put the wedding together, I'm like, are all these people guests of the bride and the groom? And they were like, no, they're just regular people. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. If that's what they wanted to do, that's fine. But the couple did look very yes, happy. Yes, they looked and, very happy. And everybody was congratulating them. So yes. if that's something that you are looking for, that might be a fun experience. But we personally were looking for something more private, mm -hmm. intimate, and romantic. Absolutely. Now, we've been talking about the wedding coordinator. So let's get into that a little bit. Once you request your wedding packages and decide that that you would like to book a wedding on that specific island and decide on what package you would like to go to, you would be assigned to a wedding coordinator. Our wedding coordinator was available on WhatsApp app. It's a web-based messaging system. It is uh, widely known. If, if you haven't downloaded it yet, uh, you can do so for free on your phone and you can message anybody worldwide as long as they have WhatsApp and it is absolutely free. And the app is available on iOS and Android as well. It was so convenient to just chat with our wedding coordinator on WhatsApp. It's instant messages and she was sending us different photos and of the different setups that are available and we were able to choose our perfect setup and go over all the details. When it comes to your personal setup, as Irina mentioned, you do have the options of kind of customizing what your celebration will look like. For example, on the website, you might see a certain setup and it might have pink flowers and you might want white. These are the type of things that you could talk to your wedding coordinator about and say, hey, is it possible for me to have, you know, white roses or white peonies or whatever it is? And they will let you know if it is possible or not. But just know that you can ask for these things. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind the bouquets for a bride do come from the main island and they are actually imported into the Maldives. So it is really based on the availability, but if you have a specific preference, they will try to accommodate you as much as possible. And when Irina said the main island, we are talking about the capital of the Maldives, which is Mali. There are seaplanes that fly into private island resorts pretty much every hour so the day of your wedding they will bring the fresh flowers specifically for you 
When planning your special celebration at Lux, there are three different choices to choose from. We are going to now discuss the one we chose and what it includes. And our experience. We chose a medium package and it costs $1,787 US dollars plus plus. Between the three packages, we chose the middle one and here's what it includes. Tropical setup on the beach and coconut lover drink. Basically what that means is that they will set up a beautiful gazebo type setup and it would have flowers or curtains draped over the gazebo and that's where the presentation happens. And the coconut lovers drink, they will present you with a coconut which is nice and refreshing for you to have before it all starts. A flower bouquet for the bride and a buttonhole for the groom. And basically that's what it sounds like. The bride will have a bouquet of beautiful flowers and Irina received the flowers she specifically asked for and I had a pin that goes onto my shirt with a flower as well. And it was matching and what, what this package didn't say and it surprised me is that it also came with a head crown made out of fresh flowers as well. Next, our package included traditional Bodoberu live performance. Well, Bodoberu is the drumming of the local Maldivian people. During your service, as you're walking down the aisle, they will have the drummers play their local instrument as you're walking down during the presentation. And it's really cool to have live performance, live music, and also traditional Maldivian touch at your wedding as well. Next, we received a bottle of champagne and a really delicious cake. We also received a traditional palm tree planting ceremony, which is really cool and it's a Maldivian tradition. Mm -hmm. Basically what that is, they have a whole dug for you and you will take a coconut that has already sprouted and you will plant that coconut in the sand and they put your name on a plaque and that is your coconut, that is your tree. And what they do is, and after they leave the coconut planted in the sand where the ceremony takes place, then they will remove it from there and take it to a certain part of the island and they will plant it properly and that coconut tree will grow. And whenever you come back to the island, it will be there waiting for you, all grown. And you actually can visit your coconut tree as well when you decide to come back. I'm really excited to go back to the island and see where our coconut tree is and how it is doing. Yes. The next cool feature is a tropical decorated buggy. Now, when you're on the island of Lux, they shuttle you around from one end of the island to the next because the island is pretty long. They have a designated buggy that in the back of it, it's kind of, it's like a golf cart, but longer, it holds more people. And in the back they have a heart and it says just married. And this is where they come to your villa, they pick you up and they drive you all the way to where the ceremony takes place. And it's really awesome and it feels really special and everyone look at you and say congratulations. Right. And after your wedding ceremony, they will also shuttle you back to your villa. And when it's all said and done and the celebration has almost come to a complete end and you come back to your villa, your bed is made up and it's just like, oh, so beautiful. They do an amazing job at this. They do towel animals, beautiful swans, hearts, uh, pet flowers all around your bed. It is really gorgeous and very special. And it's all done by your room steward. Our room steward was just an amazing individual. We spoke to him for a long time, many days, just right outside our villa, and he was just so interesting. After your ceremony, you will be set up for a private three-course romantic candlelight dinner with a private <laughs> chef. Yes, you have your own personal chef. Now, these things that we're listing, they're not in any particular order. It's just everything that's included in the package. So with the private chef, after the ceremony is over and you're still on the beach or on the sandbank, they will set up a nice table for you for two wine glasses champagne glasses they will bring out champagne for you and you get there it's a seafood it's a grilled seafood dinner it's a beautiful three course meal right on the beach and is absolutely beautiful during sunset 
And what I didn't know is, uh, and I just found out while we were planning our wedding, you actually get to choose the menu as well. We, of course, love seafood, so we chose the seafood and lobster option, but there is also, everything is barbecue, but there is also meat option and chicken option as well. Right, as you mentioned, everything is grilled and it's just done to perfection. It is absolutely amazing and now remember i mentioned uh this is during sunset your ceremony at lux will usually start between 4 and 5 p.m and it runs into the evening so by the time the ceremony is over the ceremony lasts about an hour maybe a little bit more the sun is setting and it's absolutely beautiful so when it's time for having your dinner it's over a beautiful sunset and the last item on the list for our package was the 30 minutes Balinese massage for two. And if you're interested to know about the name of our package, it is Paradise Passion Pamper. It's a mouthful. Pee, pee, pee. <laughs> but their uh, packages start from the essential lasting love starts from thirteen hundred and ten dollars and their highest package which is great love of all is twenty nine hundred and seventy seven us dollars plus plus and if you're wondering what is the difference between all the packages the lowest package just doesn't include the three course dinner and the 30 minute massage and the highest package includes everything that our package included plus in villa breakfast bridal hair and makeup photo shoot for 50 pictures plus the usb stick and donny sunset cruise with canopies now let's talk about our actual ceremony they picked us up separately Devon uh, was picked up first and then our wedding coordinator picked me up on the buggy. I was really happy that she was able to get pink uh, flowers, pink roses uh, for my bridal bouquet. Usually they offer white ones but I specifically requested pink ones. And when she brought me to the West End, they made an aisle out of sand. It this was so cool. Mm -hmm. And they put little lamps alongside with flowers. And we had two girls uh, throwing rose petals. Mm -hmm. We had Boduberu drummers accompanied me as as i was walking down the aisle usually when you walk down you have your regular wedding march yeah but here was bodo Bero traditional drumming and it, it was really awesome yes it was really special and as i walked down the aisle uh, to the minister devon was waiting for me there and they made a heart out of sand and put rose petals around it it was really beautiful and while this is all going on What's really cool about it also is that you have staff around the area making sure everything goes well. And if you have your cell phones or a camera, they are there kind of like on the sides taking videos of the whole thing. So you'll or have pictures, or, whatever you or pictures, whatever you choose. Yes. And they will have that for you at the end to capture the moment because we all know not unless you get a videographer, then you won't be able to capture the moment, but they will be there to help you and assist you. And it was so cool. They were all super excited to be at the wedding ceremony. It's not all the same staff all the time. They exchange and whenever they get to go into a wedding, ceremony they get really happy and excited yeah after the minister stated a few words then we exchanged vows and if you would like to hear our vows we included some of it in our wedding recap video which is in the description below the next surprise that came with our wedding ceremony was the pouring of two types of sand. They brought a tray with a vase and two jars of sand. White sand for Devon and pink sand for me. And we were pouring the sand together into the vase and it signifies the mixing of the older sand grains. Uh, meaning that we will be inseparable and it wouldn't be possible to separate again all the sand grains into white and pink so our love is inseparable it was a, such a sweet yes. um, tradition as well after that they brought us two glasses of champagne bonded together with a beautiful red ribbon to signify the unity and it was really sweet 
After the champagne toast, we did a beautiful cake cutting. Let me tell you, many times when you're planning your wedding, a cake obviously is a part of the whole planning, what the type of cake you want and how good it is, if you want to go that in depth. Well, at Lux, they give you two choices. You get vanilla or you get chocolate. Mm -hmm. My expectation when we chose chocolate was not the highest. I mean, we've had plenty of wedding cakes and they just taste just normal. Well, this wedding cake was not like any other wedding cake that I've ever tasted. It, it was, was phenomenal. Wow. And you could see it in the video. My eyes opened when I, I was just like, oh my gosh, you have to taste this cake because Irina fed me uh, the cake first. And I love chocolate and to me to taste a really a good chocolate cake that actually will impress me it's not that easy but that cake was extremely rich, rich and moist, moist and flavorful <laughs> and soft i was blown away by that cake yeah so when i had a piece of that cake i'm like okay this is not going to be a one slice and we never have another slice after that we're like so what are you guys going to do with this cake after this is all done because we want it sent to our villa because we're going yes. to finish this cake <laughs> so yes it, it was really really great and when we got to our wedding setup the table that had the cake had three cakes in it yes. so we're like Oh my God, we get all these three cakes, but two of them was just dec decorative as yes. a decoration. And then there was our beautiful cake on top. Right, but it did look like they were all together. So yeah, that's why we thought we got three cakes, but no, you will only get one. But it was really excellent. Next time we go to Lux, I actually want to order that cake. I know, just it was that <laughs> good. I'm serious, eat. it was so good. And yes, we did have it taken back to our villa and we were eating it, but it's just so rich that you can't really eat too much of it. Next, there was another traditional Maldivian ceremony was the planting of the coconut. And it was really sweet and we spoke about it earlier and we're excited to go back and visit our coconut. Mm -hmm. After the ceremony, they set up a separate table for us to sign our uh, certificate, our wedding certificate. And it was so nice. It's right on the beach with the ocean view. It's just the feeling is just unbelievable mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful certificate they actually framed it for us yes. i didn't expect that at all mm -hmm. because when we were signing it it was just paper but they nicely laminated it, put it they the put it in the frame and, and it's in our suitcase we actually everywhere we travel we have it in our suitcase now and right after the certificate signing we had another really cool traditional maldivian ceremony uh, they uh, brought us a piece of paper and we wrote our wishes for each other mm -hmm. on that piece of paper rolled it and put it inside of empty coconut shell. yes it's a dry coconut so it's very light and they had a little hole in it we put our wishes inside and they seal it with another stick and the tradition was to toss it into the ocean together and our wishes would be just floating in the ocean and what was awesome about that too is that when we did that part of the ceremony a rainbow appeared yes. which they were like wow that's kind of rare that there's actually a rainbow there and we were like Oh my goodness, I was like, look, there's a rainbow. But the funny thing is this. Now, taking you back a little bit on a little story, as we were getting ready in our villa, a heron came and landed right on the edge of our pool outside our villa. And it stayed there for a good 15 to 20 minutes, just in one place as we were getting just and like, oh my gosh, look, the, and, and the herons are really big. So it was just there the whole entire time. I'm like, well, I hope that's good luck. So now, the time came where we were actually doing the wedding ceremony and right off into the distance at the edge of the water, a heron was there as well. And I'm like, I wonder if that's the same heron. And it just kind of gave me goosebumps. And I mentioned it to one of the staff and I'm like, what type of bird is that? And they told us, I'm like, is that like considered good luck? And they're like, yeah, it is good luck that a heron is around when you are getting uh, married. So I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Yeah, yeah just a little story. It, it was really funny. So we have like a lot of symbolic things. Uh, a rainbow means a lot to us yes. because we lived in Hawaii and Hawaii is known for rainbows. And that's one of my favorite things. <laughs> and just to have a rainbow 
on our wedding ceremony and a hair in there. It was yeah, really nice. It was, really it was nice. very touching. Now, after the tossing of the coconut into the ocean, we had time for photos. And while we were doing this, the staff was setting up our dinner. So they had all the, the table setting, the silverware. It was really beautiful. The chefs, they started the cold because again, everything is barbecue, everything is grilled. All your seafood is grilled. So the preparation started for that. We sat down and we waited. We spoke about everything and how exciting we were. And then the chef just started rolling out the food and it was nothing short of phenomenal. Yes, so if we actually spoke many times about the quality of food in Lux. So if you haven't seen any of our videos from Lux, just do yourself a favor yes. and take a look. And after watching those videos, you sure will be excited to book Lux for your next bucket list vacation. Mm -hmm. At this time during the ceremony, now as dinner is happening, the sun has already set and it's gotten dark. So they have candles. They light the entire walkway of the ceremony. It's lit with uh, flickering lights, kind of like candles. It wouldn't be candles because it would, it would be too windy. So it's covered. And on the table, obviously they have lights for you also. All in all, the ceremony was just amazing. Everything was done to a T. Everything was done to our satisfactory and exceeded what we really expected. It was really nice to get involved in the a tradition, the culture of the Maldives, and yet have such a beautiful and a romantic dream wedding. Now, just a little side story. You'll notice if you happen to have watched our wedding montage, and now that you're seeing a little bits and pieces of it as we're talking about it, the way it was done, we did not hire a photographer or a videographer. The Lux does have their photographers and video videographers available mm -hmm. for an upcharge for them to capture your wedding the way you want it. What we did is that I was the one behind the camera. I was filming Irina walking down the aisle. We set up a tripod. You'll see in the shots as the uh, minister is, is saying is, is is going through the ceremony. You'll notice the tripod is behind us. And we had told you what we wanted to do is we wanted to capture this live and we wanted to stream it live. So unfortunately, we weren't able to do that. So what we did was just capture it the best way we can. So that's the reason, that's how you saw all the footage being captured and we're able to bring it to you because I was the one behind the camera capturing the whole thing. And the staff has been really helpful as well. Yes, the staff was really helpful in getting us everything we needed, whatever we needed. The drummers played, they had to stop playing for a while while I set up the camera in a different position. Then they start playing again as we rolled. So again, this is just the way we did it so we can capture it and bring it to you and we did not hire a videographer to do that but know that you have that option and if you might be wondering about other cinematic uh, shots of our wedding is basically a couple of days later we just got dressed again and we went on pretty much half of the day to different spots of Lux and filmed some footage just for our memory and um, for you. Yes. I have received multiple questions about my wedding dress. At Lux specifically, they do not offer any type of wedding dresses for rent. You might be able to find it in Mali, which is the capital of the Maldives. But to be honest with you, I will not risk it because Maldives is a Muslim country and their wedding style is different. So, so I personally would not chance it to leave it for the last minute to get my wedding dress. Or recommend it for that matter. Right. I picked out my wedding dress and I actually assembled it. Every piece was separately bought and I had a detachable layered skirt and underneath I had a short skirt which was uh, with the lace top just uh, similar to this. I had my other corset top which was also a separate piece that I bought and all the jewelry that I brought with me was also separate. Now the way I carried my wedding dress, the biggest piece was the skirt. Of course, it was a six layered skirt and uh, we folded it nicely and we put it in a very light 
separate bag it fit in a bag about like this and we had it with us as a carry-on so when we flew Etihad Airlines they they only allowed one bag to bring with you on board and I had my backpack as well which was small and light and because we explained the situation that it was a wedding and we did not want to chance to check in the bag with the dress not only because it might get squished but also it might get lost so they actually allowed me to bring that bag on board with me yes the agent just basically called the supervisor and said hey it's their wedding you know can we and he said not a problem so thank you Etihad for that <laughs> Etihad is our favorite airline <laughs> and we did a small short review and we will leave in the description below and if you decide to book Etihad as well uh, please use our affiliate link which is also in the description below and once you get to the resort uh, Lux offered uh, steaming services for free I did not need to use it because my skirt was in a pretty good condition yes and if you're wondering why um, Irina assembled her wedding dress like that and say why don't you just buy like a whole one piece wedding dress or what have you at least a two piece is because we took into consideration we were going to be having the ceremony on the beach so we wanted more of a beach feel as opposed to your traditional wedding dress that's just, just really big and, and really heavy and as the well front i wanted specifically the front to be open because mm -hmm. again walking on the beach i did not want the skirt to get under tangled my feet and ta get tangled right mm -hmm. so i wanted to be a little bit more open style and beach vibes yeah so we went to many different uh, bridal shops in New York to try to find a beach wedding dress. We shopped online for a beach wedding dress and some of the stuff that came up was it, it took six weeks to come or what have you or certain things we ordered we tried to get different pieces from different places even Amazon correct we went on Amazon to try different different pieces some of them it looks amazing on the photo and when you get it it just looks really flimsy and cheap so we were kind of going back and forth returning ordering returning ordering so eventually we got the one we wanted by assembling the different parts and some resorts do offer rentals bridal rentals and we have an example of one of them in our walking video of Santara Grand Island Resort but to me personally that was not my style and Keep in mind the size is only from four to six uh, US size. So while planning a wedding in the Maldives, consider the weather, it's going to be hot. And again, if you're having a beach wedding, uh, consider that there will be sand and, and wind. Needs. Now let's get into some pros and cons of having a wedding ceremony in the Maldives. Many people asked us if any of, of our friends and family were attending our Maldives ceremony. And this is one of the cons of having a wedding in the Maldives. Let's start with the most obvious. Not everyone can afford to come to the Maldives for a wedding because it can be pricey and it can't be out of their particular budget. Maybe not yours because you're the one celebrating, but out of everyone else's budget. Another thing is, the long flight to get there from New York, it took us pretty much 22 hours to get to the Maldives and three flights. So for some people, they don't like traveling long distance and that is a deterrent for them. So that could become very challenging as well. And not only that, again, your guests would have to stay on the island for your wedding as well. Mm -hmm. And that could be pricey. Yes. We chose to stay in the overwater bungalow uh, on Lux Saudari Atoll. And again, depends on your room type. This is not the highest room type and not the lowest room type. And also depends on the package you choose, whether it's breakfast only, breakfast and dinner, or all-inclusive. We went with an all-inclusive op option and we paid for our room specifically at high season 
over $1,300 per night plus plus. And if you want to see what our overwater villa looks like and all the other accommodations on Lux, we've created a video just for you where we go in and take you on a tour on all these beautiful villas and we will leave the link to that video down in the description below. Another con of celebrating your wedding in the Maldives is the weather. You're celebrating outdoors, the weather is Unpredictable. unpredictable even in the dry season we specifically chose to have our wedding in march because that's dry season going to april you get more chance of showers so we decided to go beginning of march to make sure we have the best weather however comes to find out the weather was still overcast a little bit and some days were actually raining yes so you never know when it comes to having your celebration outdoors you just have to cross your finger and hope for the best and during our wedding it was an overcast day and it was just a little bit drizzly just a few drops we felt fell on us but overall it was still a wonderful ceremony and not only that if you uh, get lucky with a beautiful sunny day it will be hot, hot. <laughs> <laughs> so you will definitely need to make sure you have sunscreen and be prepared to sweat just a little bit yes that's why most of if you look up weddings in the maldives or celebrations in the maldives you'll see most of the people who are going through the celebration they're wearing like very loose clothing light clothing short clothing because you really don't want to be to you know your typical tuxedo i mean you can if you wanted to but again black all black with the sun and you know wedding dress that's heavy big you're going to be yeah you're gonna lose a few pounds <laughs> So as far as the pros go, well, I don't think we need to get into that too much because it's the Maldives, it's a dream, it's beautiful, clear waters as far as your eyes can see, uh, tropical island, everything is just, it's just perfect, it's a dream wedding. So we don't even need to really go into too many pros, I think the pros speak for themselves. And something to consider while choosing your resort for your wedding, uh, do your research. Not all the resorts uh, offer outstanding food options. We specifically chose Lux because Lux is known for excellent food across yes, the all their resorts. So it's something to keep in mind. Yes, and another thing, when you do have your ceremony at Lux, you are given a number. Our number happened to be 899. One short of 900, and yes. So that basically means there have been 898 couples who have celebrated on Lux. And if you don't want to celebrate your wedding, you can actually renew your vows there. You could do a lot of things there, actually. So yes, it's a place where people go to celebrate life, celebrate a landmark, so something special. We spoke to many guests who it's their 25th, 35th, 50th anniversary, and that's how they do it. Some people come back there every year. It's just amazing. If this video helped you decide whether you want to plan your wedding in the Maldives or gave you insights on how to get married in the Maldives, don't forget to click like and share this video with your significant other so you can both decide whether having a ceremony in the Maldives is right for you. But just remember, above all, one thing to take away from this video is you would want to get married before going to the Maldives because it is just a ceremony. If you would like to support our channel, consider clicking that heart button below this video. We thank you so much for watching and as usual, just, just be, be out, out with, with us. us. Cheers!